Welcome back everyone, you may notice that we are inside a cave right now, that cave being Haldir's Cairn. Um, we were back in Falkreath at the end of the uh, last episode, but I tried to record uh, about 26 minutes of Jakar com coming up here, and exploring literally about half of this cave, and I didn't realize that, basically, um, I hadn't checked Skyrim uh, in the... Uh, open broadcaster because I was a derp and I was testing out another game because I want to LP it. But anyway, um, basically recording shit happened that I didn't check and I have to re redo this and, you know, the, um, I, I couldn't reload that save that had already been saved over, so, I, I mean, nothing happened on the road. Absolutely nothing happened. We just came up here with uh, very little problems from what I remember. Uh, but luckily, the autosave when I entered here was intact, so I'll just uh, restart from here. So anyway, um, oh yeah, I should probably tell you guys. Um, it's kind of a minor thing in this situation, but it should tell you about it because it affects the, the whole roleplay itself. Um, I installed a uh, little module for wet and cold called Holidays, which um, I was actually kind of surprised was a wet and cold thing. It just uses some features of wet and cold, but it's not along the theme of weather effects the um, rest of the mod handles but basically it's really cool it adds holidays um, you know to you know like actual lore holidays to Skyrim and uh, uh, there's all these celebrations and parties and all these cool things going on in states on these days and um, I have it set to where um, couriers will come up to you and tell you that uh, you know there's holiday there's a holiday coming and, uh, let's, actually, I'm kind of curious, what's, what's the next holiday? We're in the middle of the cave exploring, but I want to know. Um, let's see, it is currently the 22nd of Heartfire, um, because we waited a month, uh, a while back so that Jakar could, um, get his, uh, Bard's College training, and, um, oh, what was I going to say? And, uh, so it's the 22nd of Heartfire, so the third of Hearthfire, okay, we missed the Hearthfire holiday, but the next seems to be the 13th of Frostfall, which is the Witches Festival, which seems to be something along the lines of Halloween, so, um, says here that, uh, basically evil people, um, <laughs> collect ar around the wilderness, so, uh, wandering around, around the wilderness would not be all that wise on the 13th of Frostfall, but that's the next holiday, so it's just a nice little RP thing, and it would make sense that in a, you know, I mean, in Daggerfall, um, the holidays were, um, integrated into the game, you know, so, uh, and no other Elder Scrolls games after that. I'm not sure if Morrowind does, because I haven't really played much Morrowind, but I know Oblivion and Skyrim don't make a big deal uh, about the, um, holidays, but, uh, there are always, there always are mods that, uh, fix things like that, so, I, I mean, like, I watched the Brodual video on this, I'm like, holy crap, I need to get this, so yeah, um, there's that, and that will be a part of the role by now. Hmm, I suppose you're right, Titan Law. Sacrificed, you say? Yes, that does that does look very peculiar and not good at all. Um, hmm, there's a key here, and some sort of tattered old book. It seems to be a journal. Never thought I'd see the day we were run out of the Knife Point Gang. At least the storm should cover our tracks. Vidgrod, Rain, and I took shelter in a cave for the night. Looks like there's an old ruin here. At least there are no Draugr around. Vidgrod and Rain wanted uh, want us to set up here for a while, maybe do some raiding. They ought to know better. The road's deserted, especially this time of year. Plenty of better places up north. But they seem awfully insistent about staying here. Wouldn't even lend a hand when I went out to hunt tonight. Something's wrong. Rain hasn't said a word since she woke up this morning. Just keeps staring off into space. Vidgrod isn't much better. They sick? Not like any illness I've ever heard of. I just walk out on them, but can't, I can't seem to get up the nerve. I feel like something's holding me back. What is this place? We're not alone. I can hear him now. Someone speaking in my mind. Old. Powerful. Haldir. That's the name. He wants something from us. He needs us to stay for the magic to work. 
I tried to run. Can't. Just like them. Ren jumped first, onto the cairn. That's what Master B That's what Master wants. Blood. Sacrifice. Power to live again. His magic. I can feel it pulsing in, in my blood. He's draining us. We'll serve him soon. Our bodies, our souls. Just like the others. They're waiting. It's my turn. Uh, that does not bode well at all. Foul, foul magic at work here. Uh, I admit, this does have me scared about this place, but... If such a foul sorcerer would uh, be taking residence here, it would uh, only be befitting of an aspiring hero such as myself to try and clear the foul magic from this place. You're coming, Anim Law. I do not want to be alone here. Anim Law? Hello? Anim Law, where are you? Get a move on, Slowpoke. You stuck? She seems to be stuck. I guess I could just summon her back in here somewhere. Oh, no, no. There she comes. Alright. Here she comes. Alright. Be very careful, Anim Law. I do not like this place one bit. Oh, well, I don't know what that ha what I don't know how that happened there. That uh, was a derp. Because I'm a derp. Uh, where'd that arrow go? Ah, it doesn't matter. I, I swear I didn't actually click there. That was a weird bug. Anyway. <sighs> mm. I do not like how quiet this place seems. There must be something dangerous here, but I haven't sensed it yet. Oh yeah, and guys, uh, tell me if it bothers you that I seem to get out of, uh, get in and out of a sort of role-playing mood a lot. Like, I tend to just... Oh. I'll hold that thought for a second while we finish off this ghost here. Oh! I'm sorry, Anim Law. God, did I hurt you? I'm so sorry, Anim Law. Ah, oh, God damn it. Oof. Sorry. I wish I had healing magic and I would surely use it on you. <sighs> Clumsy oaf. Nice going, Jakash. Anyway, um... You guys may realize that I, like, phase in and out of role-playing. You know, I, I do sort of my commentary and then I seem to suddenly go in and out of first-person Jakar without really any warning. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me if that seems to be a little broken up and, you know, interrupt the flow of the LP and I'll try to have a better way of conveying Jakar's thoughts on my own in sort of um, tandem in a better way, you know, so. Hmm. This key seems to open this door. What the what? There doesn't seem to be a ghost there. What the what -ing? Well, that's weird. It looks like a completely invisible ghost. Okay, that's a that's definitely a bug. Well, at least I noticed that. That was a bit weird. Um, I don't think I've ever had a ghost go completely invisible like that. I mean, that makes sense, you know, in the whole in how ghost lore normally is. Normally, they're not they're not seen. They're you just heard, but uh. Still in Skyrim, that usually doesn't happen, don't think. Oh yeah, I leveled up earlier in this place. I think I should go ahead and do so. We're in a dangerous place. I could uh, always use a um, boost on one of my skills here. Um, health or stamina. Let's get stamina to over 200, and then we'll focus on health for a little bit. Uh, emphasis on a little bit, though, because I always imagine Jakar is not very strong or... Um, Resilient, but very agile and um, and uh, quick, that kind of thing. So stamina is going to be the main focus, and he doesn't really have any magical talent. He has a little bit, but he's really only going to be using uh, restoration and maybe a bit of alteration. I actually am second-guessing alteration now. I I'm not sure if I want to go that route, but I found a lot of uh, alteration spell tomes, and maybe I should use them, but... Um, Let's see what kind of perks we could get here that could help us in this place. Um, we could get Agile Defender to a 5. In the Archery Tree, we could get Focus to a 5. Steady Hand, 1 of 2. Power Draw, nope, not using a Longbow and don't really care to do this entire playthrough. Um, Alright, that looks like everything we're interested in in uh, Marksmanship. Light Weaponry... <sighs> See, for Jakar, um, 
one-handed weapons are more of a last resort, like, holy crap, they're getting really close, I better pull out my sword kind of thing. Um, so, I mean, I've already focused on archery more than anything else, but I'm thinking maybe in here it would be a good idea to get a sword perk. What can we get here? So we can get Arsman 2 of 5, we can get Bladesman, attacks with all types of swords and tontos, have a 10% chance of doing 150% critical damage, that's pretty badass. Strong grip, standing power attacks with one-handed weapons have a chance to decapitate, all one-handed and non unarmed power attacks consume 25% of the stamina. Wow, and only light weaponry 35 you have the uh, decapitate. See, that's one thing I kind of like but don't really understand about uh, how they, um, how Skyrie rebalances the skill trees, um, is that a lot of the, um, ones that, like, a lot of the effects and, uh, skills, um, and, um, perks that were, um, like, farther on in the tree, like 60, 70, 80, like this decapitation thing, and, um, and there was something in the sneak tree that was similar, I'm trying to remember. Um, uh, oh no, that's light armor, what am I doing? Sneak, there was something in the sneak tree that... Yeah, light foot, uh, you won't trigger pres pressure plates, I was like 70 at one point. Uh, they moved down a lot of that stuff, but all the higher end stuff is even cooler. I guess that makes sense, but anyway. Uh, enough of my rambling, I need to freaking pick a perk here, and I really feel like I need to, because, well, this is a Nordic Ruin, and, uh, well... Jakar's had one Nordic Ruin experience, and it was Draugr every freaking where, so... He is going to be very cautious, and... I'm definitely gonna get a perk here, but the question is... What? Attacks with all types of swords and taunt... Yeah, I already read that. Uh, critical charge, can do a one-handed power attack while sprinting. See, that makes sense for Jakar, because I think, um, I imagine him in combat as sort of a very frantic, um, you know, uh, combatant, uh, always sprinting around, trying to dodge, all that kind of stuff. So I think critical charge makes a lot of sense, but, um, actually, on the other hand, he really only pulls his sword out once they're in pretty close, so maybe that doesn't make much sense for him now that I think about it. Um, there is strong grip. That's a possibility, but I don't think of him as very strong, so RP-wise, maybe not yet uh, for that perk. Dual flurry, not really going to be a dual wielder. I mean, the thing is, I know I could uh, dual wield with Jakar, or I could use a uh, shield, but I always imagine him as um, really just seeing the practicality of a shield or, um, you know, two swords is not all that much for him because, I don't know, he, he likes quick, agile type of stuff, and although, uh, dual blades sort of, um, you know, is sort of a quick, agile type of fighting style, I, I don't know, it just, it makes more sense for Jakar to, uh, use only one sword and not, can't exactly explain, but it just makes more sense to me. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna pick something here, I promise. Uh, let's... Let's do Bladesman, or... Or Armsman. Ah! So, 20% more damage, period, or... Chance of critical... For now, I think we should just do overall damage. Right. Sorry that took me so long, guys. I just, uh, haven't looked at the perk trees in a while, because... Again, haven't played in quite a few days. And also, I haven't played with Skyrie near as much as the, uh, vanilla perk system, so... I haven't been missing lots today. Wait. I swear there must be a bug preventing the... See? I, see I, I'm hitting him, aren't I? I swear I was hitting him. It seem, there seems to be a texture issue or something with the ghosts, because that one looked sort of human and not completely transculent, and the other one was completely visible. That is kind of weird. I did just reinstall a bunch of mods because shit went wrong in my game. Um, and that might have something to do with it, but I don't really think any of them had to do with ghosts, really. Ooh, he has a crossbow. Be very careful, Jakar. I should be loading these guys. Oh, whoa. Where are the balls of that Draugr come from? Alright, since Anim Laws... I was gonna say since Anim Laws moving in for the sword kill, we'll stay back with our bow, but she one-shotted the darn thing, so no need to worry. Alright, so... 
Yeah, I should be looting these ghosts. Um, yep, yeah, definitely gonna take those bolts, and I did. Uh, I also should probably be using the crossbow a little bit, shouldn't I? Um, Jakar can definitely tell that one is probably going to come alive, so better safe than sorry. Oh, really? What? Okay, something must be wrong with the aiming in this game right now, because I swear I hit him there. Maybe my eyes are a bit fricked. <sighs> I'm sorry that reminds you of such things, Adam Law. I wish I could do something to help you forget about it, but uh, I wouldn't forget about such a harrowing experience, I'm sure. Why do why do none of the dead in these places stay dead? Are there always necromancers in these places? This place surely seems to have a foul sorcerer about, but I don't know about the others. Hmm. What opens this gate? Is there a way to open this gate here? Ah, I see. A lever. Yeah, again, guys, tell me if it's uh, a bit weird that I phase in and out of uh, role-playing so suddenly. <laughs> I just, that's how I play, is I just think thoughts of my character and think thoughts of, um, my, you know, of, like, as the player, almost simultaneously, really, so. What the? the what? Okay, that is really weird. Okay, this, there is some weird bug with the ghost, or a couple of weird bugs with the ghost, it looks like. And he has a giant hammer that is poning me. See, like, he keeps, like, fading in and out of spectralness, and I can't seem to hit ghosts with arrows very well. I don't know what the heck's bugging this game out, but something, and it's not pleasant. Right. That was very close. Yeah, Jakar tends to use his healing magic more than, uh, potions. That's why, man, I don't really know if he wants, um, if he, um, if I'm going to have him join the Mage's College. I was thinking, no, but, uh, alright, there seems to be some sort of pillar puzzle like there was in, um, actually, did he come across a pillar puzzle in, uh, the other dungeon he went through? I don't remember. But anyway, um, hmm, there seems... These symbols on the walls seem to match these pillars. What does this lever do? Ah, oh, it shoots darts. Okay. I'm glad none of those hit you, Anna, while you were very close. Oh, 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 that one, yep. Called it. Alright, um, let's see here. Perhaps... These symbols across from the pillars, you must turn them to such a thing, and then this will, instead of um, shooting darts, open this door. I hope so. Or else there doesn't seem to be much of a way to get through here. Let's see, snakes. So is there a snake symbol here? Yes, there is. An eagle. And fingers crossed. Yes. Uh, those Nords uh, thought they were clever, but uh, I'd say they weren't all that much. I mean, they were clever in building such contraptions, but not really in designing them to keep people out, which I uh, assume what is what they were trying to do. Another ghost. There's many of them here. Finally actually shot that one. <laughs> oh, Jakar's a bit hungry. Um, he'll make sure he's not in danger before, um, I heard someone clearing their throat. Um, ugh, oh, one of those invisible ghosts again, really? Man, I do not... What is with the texture issues on the ghosts here? That is very strange. Skyrim is the buggiest game ever. Right, so Jakar's gonna sit on this bench here now that he is... Relatively sure he's not in danger, and even if he is, J Anim Law will probably make sure he uh, doesn't get uh, attacked or anything while he's nomming on a bit of um, a lavender dumpling. Perhaps he could have a bit more. 
Um, also, he's probably pretty thirsty. A bit of milk. Could I have a bit more. Um, another bottle of milk. Why the ball is not? Cool. Thirst has been quenched. Um, leg of goat roast is a filling meal. I'll save that for when he's really hungry. Um, looking for another light snack. Do I have one? Uh, medium meal have to do, I guess. All right. He's full, and his thirst has been quenched. Let us continue. I hope I find this foul necromancer and put an end to his schemes once and for all. Ah, uh, that bug again. I wonder if putting it back and then... Hmm, I wonder if unequipping the crossbow and then re-equipping it... Right, that seems to fix it a little bit. Oh, oh! Okay. <laughs> I think he dodged out of the way enough there, but he barely got nicked by that thing, which kind of sucks. Hmm. This is a very heavy hammer. I don't think I want that. That health potion, though, looks very... Oh, oh, that is trapped. That is a trap chest. Good, I, uh... Right. How many lockpicks do I have, by the way? I don't think many, actually. Hmm. Uh, I don't like this minigame. I like Oblivion's a bit better, because it's more based on skill than chance as far as I see it. I mean, the um, where the sweet spot is in this minigame is randomized, but in Oblivion you just have to uh, get good at um, clicking the mouse when the pin is right at the top, and uh, you can get them open no problem with quite a bit of practice. But with this, it's completely chance-based pretty much because you have to find the sweet spot and then you have to get it open instead of uh, being able to manipulate it um, without having to just guess, you know. <sighs> Dang it. Well, balls. Looks like I'm going to have to uh, deal with the trap here. Oh. Harold's stamina potion. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha Jumps right out of the way. I seem to be clever cleverer than your ancient Nords, which is probably why I am alive right now. Because you have s quite a few deadly traps in this place. Hmm, looks like I can't squeeze through here. But how to get to that area? That is the question, isn't it? Ah, oh, man, these places are very, very labyrinthian. I really don't like Nordic runes in this game. Uh, Dwarven runes, oddly enough, are a little bit easier for me to navigate, but Nordic runes are giant friggin' mazes in this game to me. I get lost in them way too much. Um, okay, map. Where's unexplored area? Uh, around this area, it looks like. So if I... Um... Okay, that... Is this going back where we came from? Yes, it is. Okay. So we went through this door after uh, pulling that lever behind the chair, and then we pulled this lever, went through here, and this looks like a bit of a dead end, actually. Um, no, no, never mind. Uh, yeah, and then there's this room where there was a, another invisible ghost. I hope I uh, figure out what's the cause of those weird... I guess it's texture issues uh, with those ghosts, because their textures don't seem to be loading in properly or something. Well, I can unlock that door. Actually, I think I can, because um, my... Um, let's just make sure. Um, Again, guys, I'm I'm pressing a lot of random buttons and going into different menus. It's because I've been playing different games, basically. And uh, it's hard to get back into the uh, Skyrim groove when you've been playing a lot of other games. Um, wait, what am I doing? I guess, um, lock overhaul. Lock requirements. Uh, no, 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 it's smash locks. Uh, do I have... No, I don't have the requirements activated. Good. Uh, the activate smash locks. Apprentice requires 25 skill. Oh, wait, um, lock overhaul... Uh, smash locks. Oh, not only two-handed, I want two plus one-handed, thank you. Makes sense. Um, it makes sense you'd be able to pry it open with a one-handed sword, so... I have over 25 sword skills, so... Um... 
I should be able to... Hmm. Um. Doesn't seem to be working. Let's see, hold on. Mod configuration, lock overhaul... Did I even... Where would lock overhaul go? There it is. Um. Smash locks, 25 skill, 2 plus 1 handed. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it is unlocked. That, that was a bit weird. Uh, adept. Do I have over 50? Um, no, I don't even have over 50 in marksmanship, so I can't unlock that chest, so that was pointless anyway. Well, balls. Oh, well. Let's just continue on, I suppose. Dakar needs to buy a buttload of lockpicks when he can. Um... Brigand Plate Harness, 35 versus... Oh, mine's better, definitely. Um, 61, yep. Let's see... I should also be checking the armor um, uh, of uh, enemies more. I don't think I've been really checking what kind of armors these ghosts had. But actually, I might not loot the ghost's armor, because it doesn't really make sense you'd be able to wear spectral armor, because everything on the ghost is supposed to be spectral, right? <laughs> Whatever, um... I'm trying to figure out where in heck I'm supposed to go here, and I'm a bit confuzzled. Uh, that's where I came from earlier. But it looks like this is a dead end or something. Or maybe I'm just being blind, and I might be. Or maybe this is where I came from, actually. Is this where I came from? Wow, okay. derp de derp derp and derp Okay. <laughs> now this is where I was supposed to be going. I'm sorry guys, dungeons in this game, I don't know what it is about them, it might be my ADHD, but they confuse me. Oh, this looks like an important room, okay. Be careful, Enumlaw, this room ahead looks, uh, pretty dangerous. 